Hey y'all, I'm over here tonight for dinner, which y'all will get tomorrow. We get it in the morning. We're gonna make some cornbread or Johnny cake, whatever you want to call it. Show you how to make mashed taters from scratch. We're gonna make I don't know. Shepherd's pie. No, yeah, okay, we're gonna make shepherd's pie. Now, it's not really shepherd's pie though, because it's not made with lamb. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, one of these shepherd's pie. Either. First thing you do, preheat your oven 400 degrees. Grease you an uh, 8 inch pan. I'm cheating. I will show you in a future video how to make cornbread from scratch, but I ain't doing it tonight. So we have one box cornbread, one egg, one egg, one third cup milk. So, put our egg in, a third of a cup of milk in. Whisk this all together. You don't have a whisk, you know, that's fine. Use a fork, a spoon. You can use your blender or your blender. What the? F don't use your blender. Which you probably could, you mix it in a blender, but don't use your blender. Use your mixer if you want to, but you can do it by hand. Just mix your batter up. So it's all incorporated and mixed together. Then you go ahead and pour your batter into your greased pan. Okay, so now once you get all this in your greased pan, we're going to clean up our workstation here. Let's go ahead and level it out. Knock the air bubbles out. Put it in the oven 20 to 25 minutes, 450 or 400 degrees. Now while that's doing its thing, over here we have our potatoes. Peel, I've already peeled them. Remember, once you peel your potatoes, put them in water so they don't sort the brown on you. So we're going to cut them. We're going to cut our taters up. them cut up to get our mashed potatoes going. I've shown you before how I do it. Take your potato, half the potato, flat side, take after you half it, turn it flat side down, half, uh, half to half, and then you make cubes out of it. So you half, then you half the half, then you cube it. Just remember, half, half, cube. So then once you get all your potatoes cut, once you get all your potatoes cut, fill your pan to cover them with water, put a little salt in with them, 
put them on the stove, bring them to a boil until they're tender. About a half hour or so. Then we'll be back with you in a few minutes. Are you recording now? Yes. Alright, it's been about 23, 25 minutes since I left y'all. Cornbread is done. Just pulled out the oven. Tiffany broke it. Mashed potatoes, they've been strained. So we're going to whip them, we're not going to mash them. Put them back in your pot or put them in the bowl if this is, this is not a Teflon pot. If you have a Teflon pot, put them in the bowl to whip them. Don't whip them in the pot. About a tablespoon of butter. About that much milk to start with. on low, you don't need it real high. And you can adjust your thickness of your potatoes with adding milk. Don't over whip them. You don't want to over whip them. We're going to add a little bit more milk here. Now we're just going to set the potatoes aside. Now you need to take and get your skillet heating up to put your ground beef in. We're going to get that heating up. And we're just going to brown one pound of hamburger. We're going to brown it up and I'll be right back with you. Yep. All right, sorry about the how I'm leaving for leave you for a minute, and I can't even fucking talk. We got our meat in. It's starting to brown. We just see it. Pound, pound of ground beef seasoned with ham. Seasoned with hamburger. <laughs> Season a pound of God. Fuck me. One pound of ground beef seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder. We have our potatoes whipped, set aside. Then we have the steamer. If you don't have one, cook your vegetables in a regular pot, whatever. This is just a pot full of water with a steamer basket on top that we're going to throw the vegetables in and it's going to steam the vegetables. So now, got all that out in one try without me. <laughs> vegetables are up to you. Break them like I am. Use whatever vegetables you want. I don't care. We're going to do a little celery. In here. Some spinach, kale, green beans, peas, and carrots. So... We need to get our veggies cut. Do we need to get these cut real quick? Take your kind of time cutting your veggies if you ain't confident with your knife skills. Don't go getting in a big hurry and cut a thumb or something off. Uh, 
that out of my way for a minute. You don't have to peel your potato or your damn carrots, but you can if you want. You can use a peeler or you can use your knife and just real quick. all mixed together here however much of each veggie you want it's up to you Look all that good a little bit of spinach and remember what I showed you about the spinach and the kale Take your leaves, stack them, stack them and yak them, about like so. Then roll them. Run your knife through them. Quick, easy way. Just take them, stack them, however much you want. Then roll them up nice and tight. Run the knife through them. Okay. These are fresh garden green beans that we have frozen. They're fresh garden beans. Same with the peas. The peas are fresh from the garden. They've been frozen now, but they don't have a bunch of preservatives and chemicals and pesticides and homicides and all kinds of asides on them. in there okay don't forget this whole time our steamer basket's been there going so now we're going to take all this we need to stir our hamburger but we're going to take all of this and drop into our steamer This is very well going to fill our steamer up because I got the small one out for some reason. Yeah. Put, it, put your lid back on that. Let that steam up real nice and good. We're still with the hamburger. Browning it. Cook it all the way through.
Now with your potatoes, these are plain, just plain potatoes. You can add flavoring to them, any flavor you want. For example, you know, I can take the onion powder, take a little onion powder in there, shake a little garlic in there, give me out another wooden spoon or something. Mix it all up. You can even take some French onion dip. Make your homemade French onion dip that I showed you how to make. Whip your potatoes and put that in here. Mm-mm. You'd have some dang good potatoes. Okay. All right, we got our vegetables steamed. Reach up in here with pot holder. Grab your handle. We got the hamburger out. It's drained. Now it's in this bowl over here. We're gonna. We're going to take and add our vegetables. Here to our hamburger. Okay. And now, just so you know, FYI, that means for your info in case you don't know. This water that's in the pan under the veggies is now vegetable flavored cooking stock. You can cook with it and it'll be veggie flavored. If you want to make like a soup or something coming up real soon, there's you some veggie stock for your soup. So while you was away, the only thing I did do that I didn't show you is I did make a vegetable gravy to mix into this. Simple. You just, we do need to season her up here. You need some pepper in there. But to make it, it's real simple. If you want to see how to make it, smack the like button, leave a comment, and tell me you want to see how to how it's made. And I'll show you a video on it, but it's real simple. And we're gonna add this into our meat and veggies over here. Rubber spatula, so get all that gravy out of there. Alright. So then, obviously, the next step, I bet you can't guess what it is. Mix it all together. By crackies, we got a wiener. Give this a good mixing. That's right, I said by crackies. That's trademark phrase, don't be stealing it. It's <laughs> trademarked through me. I trademarked it myself. Did you? Yep, just did. Did I not just say it was trademarked, so it's a trademark phrase. That's how it works. Don't make me call Donald Trump on you. Okay, now that's all mixed together. So, what we need to do, our oven is preheated to 350 degrees. That's three, a five, and a zero. Put them in any order you want. French toast for that. You need baking dish. 
Bacon dish. Bacon dish. Nine by thirteen. Has to be a nine by thirteen. Done. Yes. Don't lie to him. It don't have to be a nine by thirteen. Does it need sprayed? Nope. You're gonna still when you cook it. You're getting a little bit more grease out of your hamburger. So. Plus, you got that gravy that I just put in there. It'll be fine. So, put your meat in there. All your meat, all goodness of the meat. Say, oh, yeah, who's your daddy? Put your meat in there like yay. Spread her out. Spread her out like that. See how you do that? Now the lighting sucks in this room. Yeah, you gotta stay leaned over that away. The lighting sucks. I'm buying a house that has studio lighting in it. Alright, so now you got your meat. Your meat in there. And your green bean that you threw out. Because it wasn't good enough. Now you take your taters. Get them on there. If you want to be real fancy, you want to be a real fancy, real fancy person, you know, then uh, you want to be like Gordon Ramsay, get you a piping bag, pipe your potatoes on top, but we redneck style up in here. We don't, we don't put piping bag here. I can do it. I can show you how to do it, but I ain't, because I got things to do. You got places to go, people to do, things to see. So you're getting the book away. What? Nothing, just listening to you. Good. Shut up. Nobody wants to hear you. Uh-huh. So now, smooth them taters out. See? Smooth the taters. Smooth the taters. Sometimes they're smooth better if you sing to them. Sometimes they won't. See, I said then uh, everybody was like, watch, Redneck's going to start singing. Ha <laughs> gotcha. Don't happen. Smooth out your tater layer. All I got. Now, we got that all smooth on there. Okay, now we're going in the oven about 20, 25 minutes to crisp up your potatoes. They'll be golden brown on top. And then, if you want, if you want, you can take you some cheese and throw across the top of it, put a cheese crust on it. I ain't going to. We're going to put it in the oven just like this, about 20-25 minutes. We'll be back with you all. Recording! La 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 la, recording! I'm recording you! Are you ready? Yeah. All right. So we got it out of the oven. Just took it out. It was actually in there, I don't know, 28 minutes, I think. Because I got busy. So then I just... Scoop you some into a bowl. More, less. That's good. Because we still got cornbread, right? Yep. Scoop you some into the bowl. Get you a chunk of cornbread. There you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, favorite, subscribe. 
Links are in the description below for Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Join the community, Google Plus, Bubba's Corner, Google Plus. Go there and hit that plus one button. Tired of telling you people, go hit the damn buttons. Or don't, if you don't want to. I don't go there. Till next time, catch y'all down the road.